We're here at the Nebraska Furniture Mart today, and I know that you've talked a little bit before we came on the show this morning just about Rose Blumkin, who founded the Nebraska Furniture Mart. You bring up immigration, so I thought maybe now would be a good time to talk about that. She came here in 1917. Yeah, she came over here on a boat from Yokohama, and she landed in Seattle, and I've got the manifest of the boat and here, and I've got her entry papers, and she, and, uh, she couldn't speak a word of English. Uh, the Red Cross got her to Fort Dodge, Iowa, where her husband was. Uh, she spent two years there, couldn't pick up the language there, so they decided to come to Omaha, where there were some Russian Jews, and they would feel at least they had uh, a home of sorts. And uh, she sold used clothing and did various things, had four children, and 15 or so years later, she'd saved $2,500, and you're in what was, became the largest home furnishing store in the country, except we now have a larger one in Texas. But, but in the 50-something largest market, she took $2,500 and turned it into the largest home furnishing store. And the, the punchline is that she couldn't read or write. And uh, I've got a contract here uh, that we signed. This is what I came out with. I typed this up in, uh, 1983, August that 30. Two pages? Yeah, it's 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 really just one page. Uh, I mean, this is a signature page here, <laughs> and that's her signature at the top. And as you can see, it's just a scrawl. Mm -hmm. And we did not get an audit. We did not look at the property uh, records to see. I just said, Mrs. B, do you owe any money? And she says no. And I, that was it. And I, we, How much did you pay? Well, at that time, <clears throat> we bought. We, that we rearranged things within the family some. So we, in effect, bought 80% at a value uh, of $60 million uh, uh, on a 100% basis. But we had, uh, well, we just, we, we, we shook hands. And uh, I felt like I had the Bank of England on the other side. And, uh, and then she went on to work until she was 103, uh, if any of my, managers are out there listening. That's sort of the yardstick we use now on retirement. And uh, was a marvelous, marvelous woman. And when, never went to school a day in her life. And when the family sat down for dinner, they sang God Bless America before eating. Uh, it, you know, it, it's an incredible story.